Hello everyone. Welcome to the Career Development Lab and today in this course I will teach you that how you can deploy your code from GitHub to your server with the automation, right? So basically you need to push your code on the GitHub and it will be automatically deployed on the server. So but how this is possible? So basically this is possible through the GitHub action. So now let's memorize that what are the GitHub action. So basically GitHub actions are CI CD. So now customize that. What is CI CD? So let's take eye on this. So GitHub action is our continuous integration uh, CI and continuous delivery. A platform that allows you to automate your build, test, and deployment pipeline. So it means that in this uh, in these uh, GitHub actions, by using these GitHub actions, you can deploy your GitHub code to the server without doing anything. So you need to just push your code on the GitHub and it will be automatically deployed on your server, right? So in this uh, short course, I will teach you from step by step that how you can create the GitHub repository, how to uh, create the subdomain in the server and how to copy the FTP credentials and then how to uh, call the YAML file and stuff like that. So I will teach you each and everything and believe me it's very simple anyone can do this so stay tuned and now I'm going to start this out so the very first step is uh, you need to go to your github repository you need to your, go to your github profile and here you need to create the new repository so just click on this new keyword and here new button right and here you need to specify your github name right First, we are going to create a GitHub repository, and in the GitHub repository, we will add our uh, files, and then we will push these files on the server. So, just name your repository. So, I'm mentioning the GitHub CI CD, and I'm also specifying the action, right? So, it's not mandatory that you need to specify this same CI CD action. So, you can name whatever you like and remain this public and skip this. So, add read me, read me. And I'm not doing this so description and stuff like that because I'm doing this for the educational purposes. Just click on this create repository and it will, it will create the repository for you. And yes, it's created this repository and URL is this one, right? So first we are going to create the files manually in the github we are not committing it to, through the command line and uh, first I will do this uh, by creating the files in the github and later I will push uh, the code from the command line right so stay tuned here first you need to click on this creating a new file okay and then here you need to specify your file name so I am naming this so index.html and then here you need to add your stuff that what you want to display right i want to display welcome welcome to career development lab this is my youtube channel name and here you need to click on this commit new file so i'm committing this through ui right and yes one commit, uh, commit is added right and now next step is you need to perform the github actions right so we need to define the action so just click on this action tab and it will redirect you on the actions right and here at the top you see a href setup a workflow so just click on this and set up your workflow right and uh, yes so now it's creating a uh, creating a main dot yaml file and here you need to paste your code right so you can name whatever you want you can also make this test dot yaml file but make sure the dot yaml extension is required okay and uh, here we will post our uh, push our code uh, where we uh, it will also track uh, our code and push this on the github so just go here uh, at the top uh, click on this marketplace and open this in the new tab because i don't want to lose this one where i, I will uh, pull the code from there and push this out here right basically i'm copying the code not pulling this out so don't worry and here you need to search this uh, uh, ftp uh, deploy 
right click on this and at the bottom here FTP deploy which is by snow GFL automate deploying website just click on this and here you need to copy this code right so just copy this code and go back and paste this code here right and here you need to set up your branch name and your FTP details right so very first we are going to set up the branch name so if you are not sure that what's your repository branch so just to open your repository here just click on this in the new tab and uh, here this one is now showing at the top that what is your default branch so it's uh, in my case it's a main branch right maybe in your case it's a master branch so make sure to confirm it here okay i'm closing this out copy this code and paste this out and here you need to specify the github branch right so let me uh, no i'm not going to check the video size i will first uh, cover this out and then i will check the video size and here you need to specify let me add this push on the next line and make sure to identify like this otherwise it will throw the error and here if i uh, add this code here so it will throw the error push and then you need to type um, branches right and then you need to specify your branch name in my case it's a main branch right it's your master so just type this master like this right okay so why it's showing this error because i need to identify it properly like this and now it's showing here so just identify it like this right okay and now the next step is we need to configure our ftp server detail so now question arise that how to get the server details right so before this let me check the video size our video size is doing uh, bigger so i will uh, cover this in the next video that how you can uh, create your create your subdomain and how to get the ftp credential and paste them out here and how to set up your uh, branch right so i will uh, meet you in the next video and believe me next video is going very amazing so don't forget to check this out and if you don't know what's the video uh, next video number so next uh, video number is appearing at the left, left bottom so you can check this out thank you bye bye